Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. 
I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
please. <gasps> so this is the legendary boss. Huh? You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh. What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. An ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Another one. Yeah! Yeah! 
first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. <laughs> 